When CO2 is added to the atmosphere, that favors tree growth over that of grasses. And this is really detrimental because it hurts the balance that is important to the grassland biome. A grassland has to be a place where grasses are able to live without trees taking over and tree growth being favored too heavily. So normally a few factors help keep the trees in check. One of them would be fires. Grasses are able to grow back very quickly and the trees are not. They're burnt down and it takes much longer for the trees to recover. However, when they reach a certain height, they become fireproof. And if tree that grows is favored, they can reach that height more easily. Global warming is also projected to affect rain patterns because of the warmer oceans, which means that trees are gonna be able to grow more easily and reach that fireproof height. Also, large herbivores that live in the grasslands are normally able to um, curb the tree growth because they keep it at an acceptable height. So when all of this is um, disrupted, that means that the population of the trees goes up. And so when tree population goes up, they start to compete for nutrients with the grasses and they win. So the grass populations go down and that affects biodiversity in the grassland. If too many trees start to inhabit the area, then they take over and it becomes a forest and no longer a grassland. So obviously that hurts the biodiversity of the savanna and it can, lose, it can cause many species to lose their habitat it actually causes a chain reaction. So when species are hurt, some of the species, they, they affect each other because of food chains. So prey are gonna be hurt because prey populations need large areas to graze, they need the grass. So when prey are hurt, that means the predators are gonna be hurt. They need the prey, prey migrates, migrates and they can't hunt it anymore. A lot of animals such as cheetahs need, to, need lots of open space to be able to make use of their speed while hunting. That's something important as well. And where all these are hurt, then that means scavengers are also going to be hurt. Scavengers also need the open spaces that isn't covered and um, disrupted by trees to be able to scavenge. For example, the Cape Vulture has already been observed um, leaving Namibia, not inhabiting that area anymore because it avoids scavenging in places covered by bush.